Jack Manassi was DMX's manager. We had to squeeze him out of the deal a little bit. Being in somebody's living room without permission, that's tense. It's just you, them, and the dog locked up outside that can't help. I did a lot of, you know, walking through Yonkers, looking for people to rob, you know? And if I came across a, you know, a rap battle, hey, just as good, just as good. We would go all over Yonkers and battle. We would go all the projects, all the side blocks. Anybody that won the battle, he was there. DMX took that craft serious, like a chess player or a tennis player. He wanted to win at all costs. King of the throne, skull and sports bones. Divine master of the unknown. What's the fight for phone? I've grown shown and proven. A rap ain't let's get the crowd moving. Or I was like, I can't handle it. He was number one, hands down. And whoever said he wasn't, we set up the battles and they lost. No one could me. No one. Usually the person that you battled against, you know, afterward be like, yo, it's crazy. Like they'd become a fan. And that's when we started saying, oh, this dude is going places now because it's just tape was circulating all around Yonkers. That's how I met DMX on Locust Hill. Three, four, four in the morning. That's what they yeah, This is the beginning. This is where me and my man found him at. You know what I'm saying? X was already in the game. You know, he was at it. The only problem was X was under a production agreement with Jack McNasty. Jack McNasty was a local guy that started managing local acts throughout Westchester, New Rochelle, White Plains, Yonkers, Mount Vernon. When I first saw him with Jack, you know, he's like, yo, get a flat top. Uh, wear polka dots. Did you hear the lyrics I just kicked? Does he have his mind? Like, does this not know who I am? I couldn't really do my business with these contracts live. So I had to get him out of that deal. Went to that house. He had this big rock wallet. That was like his little security guard. We had to get in the house with him before he get to the backyard to open, let the big rock wallet in the house. So we did that. And then we talking about, well, this deal got to get taken care of. Or somebody's going to have a problem here, and it's not going to be me. Jack Manassi was DMX's manager. We had to squeeze him out of the deal a little bit. Being in somebody's living room without permission, that's tense. It's just you, them, and the dog locked up outside that can't help. But really, he knew that he had him on the contract and X wanted out. And so Jack was cool. We reached a settlement. And we didn't have to break no bones, anything. We didn't have to hang him out no window. He was good with us. And then, you know, we started working.